Hi, Justin Moore, General Manager of George Moore Chevrolet, with a very special guest, September's Community Engagement Officer of the Month, Officer Brinson. Congratulations. Yes. Yeah, thank you. What'd you do to deserve it? Just hard work, you know, doing what I'm supposed to do, being a, paying attention to what's going on around me, and helping others. Okay. Any any specific instance, any community engagement opportunity out of the ordinary? Yes. Yeah. Um, I helped with one lady. She's a young female. She was stuck here in Jacksonville. Uh, a bad situation happened where a guy made her get kicked her out of the house, and she had nowhere to go. And she was trying to go to a, a real bad apartment, well, hotel, to stay for the night. And I didn't feel comfortable, so um, help her got a ride back home. Excellent. Yeah. So, um, when did you start doing this? Um, First six years, um, I started at the jail downtown, and, and I came over and here in 2009. And for the past six years, I've been on patrol. So you were a corrections officer for how long? Yes, six years. Six years. How was that? It's it's fun. Fun. Yes. Well, I mean, it wasn't enough fun to stay. I know. What made I, you want to make the transition? Because the police is more challenging. Okay. You know, it's. Uh, Things are always changing and people are changing. It gets kicked. It's keeping me on my toes. I'm always learning on patrol. Uh, I like the jail, but it's kind of somewhat got boring, you know. How um, how long have you been on patrol? Uh, about a little over six years. Oh, okay. And uh, in zone two always? Zone, uh, always zone two. Are you a Jacksonville native? No, in 2000, I moved from a small town called Madison County. Yeah, you might, the Cowboys. I, yeah, Cowboy, yes. I'm surprised you know. Oh yeah. So, uh, uh, t tell us more about how you earned the award, or the recognition this month. Uh, this, this guy, he was he called the police because he wanted this female out of his house, his apartment. They were in a relationship at first, and he I guess he got tired of her, and he kicked her out. And the limited money she did have, um, she was going to try to find a cheapest hotel she can go to in a bad area, and she also needed to go home, needed to ride home in Missouri. Um, we reached out to the family, nobody could help, uh, send her money, no kind of way. Um, so I, I said, no, I didn't feel right. I told my beat partner, I don't feel comfortable. She's a young lady, they're gonna take advantage of her. I was afraid for her safety. Um, so I gave her a ride downtown to the bus terminal, um, Greyhound bus terminal, and they told me the fee was $100. And I took it out of my own pocket and bought her bus ticket to Atlanta and she said she could have someone from Atlanta pick her up and give her a fun to ride, you know, rest of the trip back home. But um, yeah, I paid out my own pocket. I didn't think nothing of it. I, my beat partner, he knows me. I don't like to be on the radar. And we always doing something. We always bring extra water, uh, food, cause we always meeting people and always helping people out as we go. That's, That's a very much a uh, move by a father with twin daughter. Yeah, I, and, and a lot, I say that, that could be somebody else's daughter, that could be my daughter stranded somewhere, made a poor decision chasing her after a guy, mm -hmm. you know, um, things didn't go right, and he just kicked her out. He, he furnished her a ride here, but didn't give her a ride back home. So I say that could have been anybody's daughter, you know, need, stranded somewhere, need, need help. So it kind of touched my heart, you know, I just did it, not thinking, you know. Nice, that's excellent though. Yeah. Um, so you still, I mean, you're obviously very fit. Do you yes. still play sports? Uh, no, I, I work out, but I don't have a chance to um, play sports like I want to. Involved with any of the um, no. youth program well, training? I might need to get involved, but um, I just work out like, about at least three days a week and okay. go running after I get off work. Yes. So don't run from this. <laughs> <laughs> if we've met some you can run yeah. from, he's not one of them. Well, I was going to leave the correction to be a nurse. I like helping people. Uh, I said, let me try patrol side out. And so that way I could help people in all aspects. You know, um, I was always talking to inmates once they get in, you know, and getting on the right path in life and trying to clean up their lives and stuff. And now I can talk to them before they go to jail, you know, and make a, I can reach, be on the forefront of their behaviors, you know. So I, I just love helping people. It would be some kind of job helping someone, you know, that's just what I naturally do. I find myself doing it. So, I mean, obviously you're very nice and very yeah. caring. How do you handle the hard part of the job? I, I just, I look at life and somebody gotta be positive. I look at everything, no matter how bad it is, it's a positive to it. 
It's a life lesson and you can learn from it. A little token of uh, appreciation for you. Yeah, thank you. And then some recognition for your car. Uh, thank you. Right. Nice to meet you. Yes, sir. All right.